the prime minister saying, uh, get the first vaccines available to you. So I thought I was doing uh, whatever I could to help myself and the community. Rahib Zaidi was excited to get his first shot of AstraZeneca, but following more blood clot news and confusing nasty messaging, he may not get his second. I'm strongly considering getting an mRNA vaccine as my second dose. While countries including Germany, France, Finland and the UK have already recommended that in some circumstances, Canadians are still waiting. I don't think there's anything intrinsically unsafe about using two different vaccines to get um, an immune response. Currently, NACI's advice is not to mix. Provinces are calling for updated guidance by mid-May. There is a high probability that it will be possible, but we will just see what is going to be the response. We are also watching very carefully what we call the mix and match studies that are going on around the world. Including a major study in the UK with early results expected in the next few months. These mixed schedules might well be the key to getting two doses into as many people in the world as possible. Mixing doses could be incredibly helpful to a country like Canada that has struggled with supply. There is also early data showing it could result in better immunity. Each vaccine subtly uh, stimulates part of the immune system that's a little different from the other one. But of course, it's complicated with AstraZeneca and Johnson & Johnson traditional viral vector vaccines compared to the mRNA, Moderna and Pfizer. There's going to be less of a difference if you mix Pfizer and Moderna, which essentially produce the same exact spike protein with very, very few differences. Um, that's going to be a lot different than mixing and matching entire vaccine technologies. But there will be further clarification and advice uh, prior to individuals getting the second dose and that uh, we should watch that space. Last week, Spain became the first European country to join us in a 16-week interval between doses, in part so they could buy more time to investigate whether mixing vaccines is safe. Abigail Beeman, Global News, Ottawa.